It's Beer and Food O'Clock on Real L Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Cronenberg, but it's not just ordinary Cronenberg. Robert went on holiday to France and he brought me back and sent me a bottle of 1664 gold. This is in a 275 milliliter bottle. It's 6.1% ABV which is quite interesting. And the other thing I find quite interesting about the branding compared to the French Cronenberg and the, of course, the, the British branded Cronenberg is that in the UK, we've got a big Cronenberg sign written quite large across the label with 1664. But in France, they call it Brasserie Cronenberg and they've used a tiny little word. So it, it's very difficult to see the word Cronenberg. The emphasis is on 1664. So let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Thank you very much, Robert, for sending me the beer. We're going to be pairing it with some hot Bombay mix. Here we go. A little bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Brown glass bottle. I can't remember off the top of my head if the UK has green glass bottles. Um, let me know in the comments box. Is it green glass with UK Cronenberg? Or is it brown glass like the, the decent French stuff? So we've got a one finger white head. Uh, good levels of large, large carbonation, I would say, rising up the side of the glass. It's definitely, well, it's golden in colour, isn't it? They've used a deeper, slightly darker malt here for this one. Looks good, very clear, no sediment. Let's get the aroma on this one. It looks very good as you wash it round in the glass. Yeah, this is, this is to a level of, think, Think like a good quality German lager, like maybe a Keller beer or something along those lines. Yeah, like a light Keller beer. Rich, malty, biscuity, bready. but with a, a lovely stinging nettle kind of hop finish to it. Smells fantastic. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. That's the nicest Cronenberg I've ever put to my lips. Wow. Absolutely wow. Terrific stuff. The mouth feels slightly rich and creamy. The malt base is just wonderful, biscuity, bready, nutty almost. And then it goes over into the hops on the back end, so you've got your sweetness from, from the malt here. And then you've got that fantastic, fantastic kind of nice bitterness on the back end. It just goes to show, doesn't it? I mean, when these companies want to brew great beer, they can show their hand. They can show their hand. If you think of UK breweries, I've had some terrific generation ale from Shepherd Neem come in a timber box. Absolutely fantastic. Shepherd Neem can brew some incredible beer when they want to. Green King can brew incredible beer when they want to. I've slated UK Cronenberg. This is the reason why I mentioned all of this. I've, I've absolutely slated UK Cronenberg saying, you know, you've seen the video. 
um, UK Cronenberg, UK brewed Cronenberg has been ruined. Has been ruined. I went as far as to say that it was awful, kind of terrible drinking lager. But you, you try, you start drinking some of the good stuff from these breweries, and it's really, it's really, really good, really good. I don't, I can't understand. Maybe, maybe there's just. Maybe there's just a certain amount of uh, uh, people out there that really don't care what they're drinking. They really kind of like, you know, they, they, they're they happy to drink UK Cronenberg, but it, it just doesn't taste right. It doesn't taste right. But, you, you know, you still see people picking it up and putting it in, the, in their trolley. I, it baffles me. Baffles me. I'd love to, those people who drink the UK Cronenberg, that's just terrible. I'd love to put the glass of this in front of them and say, say this Cronen, taste this Cronenberg gold from France. Delightful. Delightful beer, it really is. Right. Uh, this cold fresh hot Bombay mix was, it was about a pound actually. It was around a pound in my local Morrison's. I love matching. Matching different foods these days with my beer. How hot is hot Bombay mix? Mmm, that's not bad. Whoa, yeah. Nothing quite like it. Snacks and beer. Ooh. Wow. Bombay mix is more... It used to be like... You'd have more peanuts and stuff years ago. This is much more... Well, it says here it's sixty-six percent noodles. I want more peas. I've had one pea. No peanuts. It's, mo it's mainly noodles. I don't mind it. It's hot. It's really quite hot. Mmm. Wow. I wasn't expecting it to be that hot, actually. That is... Whoa. Let me neck. Chilli powder. Let's get to the good stuff, shall we? The stuff that will... Burning my face. Uh, chili blend, chili cumin, garlic powder, more garlic powder. Oof, that has got a real good chili burn. Natural chili flavorings, and of course paprika. Paprika being the stuff that colours it. That's nice. That for about a quid, Morrison's. Yeah, that's all right. You go down the crisp aisle, in, I'm not just going to pick on Morrison's here, but go in the crisp aisle in any supermarket and you'll find nothing for less than £1.50 a bag now. You might find their own brand stuff. But I tell you what, you want for 200 grams. There's 200 grams of food here. If you go down the crisp aisle in the supermarket... You'll find nothing over 150 grams and it'll cost you probably the best part of £1.50, £2 a bag these days. 200 grams of Bombay mix for about a quid. You've got to go down the world food aisle to find it. But I'm happy with that. Happy as laddie with that. 
So I'm, I might as well, because I've eaten some of the Bombay mix, I might as well rate that. Um, hot Bombay mix. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I think I, I think I need a couple more beers before I'm ready to like eat half the bag. You know, you've got to be a couple of beers in, haven't you, to eat half a bag of Bombay mix. Um, but I, I like it enough to give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for the hot Bombay mix. Lovely spice to it. Lovely heat to the on the back of the throat. However, this 4X Gold, 4X Gold, 1664, this 1664 Gold, why am I calling it 4X Gold? This 1664 Gold, that is unbelievable, unbelievably good. I'm going to say, very, 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 never, never ever thought I'd do this, but 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for the Cronenberg 1664 Gold. It is tremendous beer. Tremendous beer. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.